Reino Liebenberg versus Patrick Mukala is one of the biggest fights going around in the super middleweight division in this country at the moment. Uh, both guys are warriors, both guys are going to come to fight. Both guys can knock people out and I think that's what makes this a really exciting fight. Um, Fighting a Congolese guy called Patrick Mukala. Undefeated fighter. According to Box Rick, he's got 10 fights, 9 knockouts, so quite a big bunch. I think it's a tough fight. It's certainly like it's, it's a lifeline for Reyna. You know, he hasn't had a good run lately. Uh, a lot of bad luck as well, one or two dodgy decisions. Um, but this is a lifeline. And also bearing in mind, it's a new adventure for him because we're dropping him down to super middle. His first two fights with me were super middle. And then obviously his natural, where he felt that he was more comfortable, was light heavy. And that wasn't always the case. I was always on to him about if he ate properly, he would make the super middleweight limit quite comfortably. And as you can see, you were in the gym today, you saw him on the scale, you were about a can of it overweight now. So, and we've got a few days to go, so we're good. If he taught with both hands and he believes in his strength, um, I think that's a big plus when he's undefeated. Undefeated guys are always hard to fight. Yeah, and he's got a very strong belief in his power. Uh, with regards to who hits harder, well, let's see. I'm not 100% sure who hits harder, we'll have to see come fight night, and um, yeah, look, the, these are two great fighters, <laughs> what, what, more, what, 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 what more could you want out of a super middleweight clash in South Africa, there was supposed to be a super four, but these two were the, were the, were the number one seeds going into the tournament, so let's see what happens with regards to that fight. You know, Reyna's a complete pro, you know, he, he's always fit and he's always ready, and uh, I don't want to make predictions like, is this a new Reyna? Um, because you know, Reyna's Reyna, he loves a good scrap, he loves getting into a war. Um, but there's different elements of Reyna, we've seen that throughout his career where he can box when he needs to, he can brawl when he needs to, and he can make things uncomfortable and dirty if he needs to. So whatever will, will happen on Saturday, you know, you'll see one of those characters coming through, or maybe all three of them. knocked out most of his opponents, so that's what he wants to do. So I think they're coming for the knockout, I would. Actually, I'm a much bigger guy for the first time. Generally, I'm the smaller guy in the fight. I've had to work much harder to get down to super middleweight and be just be more... Yeah, I just need to focus more to get down to where I normally make weight like this. Now I had to actually work to get there. In terms of a prediction for that fight, uh, it's very difficult to predict uh, fight but it's if you had to make a prediction you might go for experience in this regard um, lately there's been a trend in this country that experience is beating youth and we'll have to see if that continues or not it's not a question of if Reyna wins it's a question of when Reyna wins so yeah I mean there'll be one or two nice fights for him um, but you know he knows you know we've got another year or two left and um, he's, he's having his third kid soon so um, and he doesn't need the money, he just he really, really loves boxing. So when that time comes, it'll come. Well, I mean, you would have to say, you know, based on paper, that Patrick probably hits, hits a little harder. Uh, but again, then you need to question the level of opposition he's been knocking out. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, Reyna can box and punch and he can brawl if he needs to. Where Patrick, you know, we haven't really seen a lot of so he's like really kind of a dark horse and kind of you know the guy who's coming through but you know if you had to say to me who would punch the hardest i mean i'd have to go with patrick on this one again i'm basing it on just what i've read and what i've seen um but saturday night obviously we'll all be able to tell i fought undefeated guys it means nothing it's just a number on a piece of paper I fought some of the best guys in the world. He's not even close to that. Yes, I would say somewhere in the middle. It starts my career at super middleweight and it gives me another opportunity to pursue my boxing career. I think I'm going to knock him in seven. I don't even think, maybe sooner, we'll see what he brings to the table, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for him in seven. Well, I think they're coming for the knockout. I think they're going to push hard in the beginning. He trains six hours a day, so he's fit and strong. Like I've said many times before, he's never fought anybody like I know they think they, they, they're on top of the world, but there's levels in boxing and he hasn't reached my level. And I'm going to teach him a lesson come Saturday the 21st of October.